My name is Danny Clayton and this is Colts Unpacked, where we discuss, break down and try to understand the phenomena of cults. Now, this next one is as sinister as it is absurd. Gaining global notoriety in March 1997, when 39 members of the cult were discovered dead after killing themselves. Images were beamed around the world of the cultists lying in a bed with a purple sheet neatly placed over their bodies while they're wearing the same clothes and the same sneakers. While we saw a mass suicide, they believed they were transcending their human form to be taken to another life by aliens. Helping me understand this is author and cult specialist, Joe Thornley. Joe, aliens? <laughs> aliens and so much more. This was such a bizarre cult. And it's one where I think the leader, Marshall Applewhite, actually believed his own story. But they did think that in the tail of the hale -Bopp Comet, a UFO would just suck their souls out of their bodies and they would be taken away to kind of a heaven planet. Uh, but originally they thought that their physical bodies would go, but Marshall's offsider Bonnie uh, actually died of cancer and so he had to rethink the cult's whole story. It's like, okay, well it's not our bodies, it's our souls. Either way, it was going to end in tragedy. So that was the primary lesson. That was, we were trapped in our human bodies, that we were going to ascend into a spaceship. But before his partner, Bonnie, died, was that the plan? or was he just gonna keep them locked in this brainwashed cult uh, for as long as possible? Well, to be eligible to be picked up and taken to another planet, you had to reach this evolutionary stage beyond or above human. So Marshall and Bonnie trained all their followers to stop thinking for themselves. So they all dressed alike, carried the same amount of change in their pockets, ate pancakes the same size, cooked over a flame that was the same size every day for everyone. They went to bed at the same time every night, had showers of an exact length. Everything was really highly regimented so that they could ascend beyond their, their monkey origins, as they called it. So Marshall Applewhite is quite a fascinating character as a cult leader. Uh, I, I believe he was a musician and he had a history of suppressing his sexuality. Yes, because he was, he was bisexual and he'd grown up in the American South in the 40s and 50s where being bisexual at that time didn't make you popular or well accepted. So. I think, and a lot, of, a lot of theorists agree, that he just wanted to bury his sexuality because it had only brought him trouble. And so one of the really, really strong doctrines in Heaven's Gate was to just ignore your sexuality. They all, you know, sort of dressed in a uniform, asexual way. And they were free from the trouble of dating and being sociable. And they even, to overcome base sexual urges, some of them went and got uh, vasectomies. Mm. And I imagine that level of control helped the brainwashing process a great deal. Something that was a little bit sinister was prior to drinking the poison, they were given an opportunity to record videos. These were their farewell videos and their they're bizarre to watch. We usually associate people taking their own lives with sadness, but these, these people are just exuding joy in the, these videos. They're letting their family and friends know that they're happy to be taking this step. But most of the people that joined Heaven's Gate did so after a bit of tragedy in their lives or because they didn't fit in or wanted to be free of the pressures of socialising with people or dating. So the opportunity to all be the same, get rid of any of the, the usual hassles of life and ascend to this other realm 
was a source of joy for them. The videos are just so odd to watch. I do have one final question for you, Joe, and that is, what did the people of Heaven's Gate join the cult for, and what were they given? They joined to escape the pressures of life and to be around people that had the same values as them. And they got, well, death. To put it simply. <laughs> okay, that was Heaven's Gate. This is Cults Unpacked.